Marco. Fan of the movie Alpha Dog. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit of a dip in the, you know, in the thing here. Are you a fan of the movie Alpha Dog? Because I am. It's one of my favorite movies ever. If you haven't seen Alpha Dog, see Alpha Dog. It is based on a true story about the killing of Nicholas Markowitz, who was 15, I believe, at the time. It is, and uh, it is a crazy story. It's a true story. Now, how to explain it? It's about drugs and uh, some of the revenge. A kidnapping that turned into more than just a not really a real kidnap. It was it's very bizarre. It's very dark. It's very gritty. It's such a good movie. And it's so sad. But this is the filming location from it. This isn't the real life location. This is a filming location from Alpha Dog. Now I might do a few of them while I'm here in Palm Springs, or I might just do this, because this is one of the best parts of the movie. Let's go take a look at some pivotal mo- well, you know, hmm. Let's go take a look at the hotel room, the pool, and a few other cool things about this place I'm gonna tell you about. As long as I can get some light. But the scene takes place at night, so I thought, what better time to do it than at night? This is a cool place. This is funky. Now, I've been out here before, uh, probably about four or five years ago. Whatever year the movie came out, I came out a few years afterwards because I really wanted to see the pool. This, the, in the movie, there's a big party held at this hotel near the climax of the film, and Stolen Boy, played by the beloved Anton Yelchin, one of my favorite actors, has an encounter with two girls in this pool. And then, switches back up to the hotel room and a very pivotal moment in the film. And real life happens, because it's a true story, like I said. But right here is the pool where they filmed it. And I'm gonna tell you something else that's really cool about this hotel, like I mentioned. Okay, I know it's dark, but the movie's dark. Wait, look in there. Yeah, the movie's dark. So, it suits it. Besides, you're not here to see me. You wanna see this? Here's the pool from Alpha Dog. Wonder if it's warm. Answer, very. Very, Marco. very warm. Marco. 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 They definitely keep this place dark. This is a tiki themed hotel, motel hotel. And they, it's really, it's really dark. Like they, you'd think there'd be a lot of lights, but no, it's really dark and funky and cool. Right in the middle of the desert. This was, I believe Ken Kimes is the man. He was a motel, uh, 
owner who owned like multiple, multiple properties. I did some digging on this guy. Let me tell you about him. Well, more importantly, his wife and his son. Wow. There she is. That's her on the right. She's born Sante Walker. Now, she spent the better part of her life fleecing people of money, expensive merchandise, real estate, either through elaborate con games, forgery, arson, and shoplifting. And in other attempts to defraud people, she often impersonated Elizabeth Taylor. Do you see the resemblance? Wait for it. Mm. Not so much. But wait. Hurry up. Here we go. Mm, kind of right there. All right, I can see it. Up close. I don't know. So she wanted a rich husband. She got one. That's him. Ken Kimes. They had a son, Kenny Jr. And she enlisted him in so many different schemes as well. She used to introduce him as an ambassador. And that helped them gain access to the White House during the Ford administration. There they are with Gerald Ford. Sante frequently offered young homeless illegal immigrants housing and employment, then kept them virtual prisoners by threatening to report them to the authorities if they didn't follow her orders. As a result, she and her second husband, motel tycoon Kenneth Kimes, right there, spent years, years squandering her fortune on lawyers' fees, defending themselves against charges of slavery. Sante Kimes was eventually arrested in August 1985, sentenced by the U.S. District Court to serve five years in prison for violating federal anti-slavery laws. Her husband took a plea bargain and agreed to complete an alcohol treatment program. Ken and their son Kenny lived a somewhat normal life until Sante was released from prison in 1989. Ken Sr. died in 94. Guess who he didn't leave in the will? Sante and the son. Big trouble ahead. They needed money. So in June 1988, with her son Kenny, Sante perpetrated a scheme where she would assume the identity of their landlady, that's for their 82-year-old socialite Irene Silverman, and then appropriate ownership of her $7.7 .7 million Manhattan mansion. I have no idea what's going on in this picture. I don't know who those people are. I just like the way Sante looks in it. Hilarious. Now, despite the fact Silverman's body was never found, both mother and son were convicted of murder in 2000. Look at this pair of cuties right here. And it was, this was in no small part because of the discovery of Sante's notebooks detailing the crime, brilliant, and also notes written by Silverman, who was extremely suspicious of the pair. During the trial, Kenneth Kimes confessed that after his mother had used a stun gun on the sleepy Silverman, he strangled her, stuffed her corpse into a bag, and deposited it in a dumpster in Hoboken, New Jersey. It was eventually discovered that they killed two other people as well. That's David Kazin on the left, they shot him to death, and that's Saeed Bilal Ahmad, who they drowned in a bathtub. So all crazy eyes here, she denied it right to the end. And the end came. She did now. The son's still in prison. I really urge you to look up this case. I mean, he took a court reporter hostage with a pen. It's crazy. It was a mother-son killer combo. I'm making a little light of it, but they were nuts. And it's a really interesting story. I couldn't believe I discovered it after I left the motel. Look into it. Sante Kimes. You won't be disappointed. Watch the footage. And it became hugely, hugely popular. Like around uh, in the 60s, it was big with the Rat Pack. Elvis Presley, Nancy Sinatra lived here apparently. And this was the place to come and party. And it, it definitely has that vibe. And it's so, I w I'll show you some pictures. I'm gonna insert some pictures of what it looks like during the day. Cause I could come back here during the day, but it takes place at night. And I'm actually just staying up the street. Hmm. No, I like the darkness. I like the darkness. I made up a, a tagline for a movie that doesn't exist. And what, what, stop it, ladies. Please. What was it? It'll come to me. I made it up. I was whispering it to my dog before I left in his ear over and over again. Because it sounded creepy. Hmm. Oh yeah, I kept whispering in his ear. Sometimes when it's quiet, you can still hear sounds. Scary, huh? Like imagine like a little kid's voice saying that as at the end of a trailer for a movie. Sometimes when it's quiet, you still hear sounds. Uh, I think it'd be creepy. I'd probably see it, unless it's a ghost movie because they bore me. I like real life movies or like real life like Jason stabbing people because that's real life, Jason's real. Okay, look at this guy. What did you eat? These are some big ass palm trees. Now I'm gonna go show you the room where they filmed the party scene and where the orders were delivered. 
And if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the movie, stream it, rent it, buy it, whatever you gotta do to do, to, to get it, do it. Alpha Dog, I'm telling you, you will love it. If you like dark, gritty, true crime movies, you'll love it. Now, let's go find the room. Are you ready to see the room from Alpha Dog? I think you are. I think you can handle it. I think you're ready for it. I think you know it's this one right here. And they filmed inside, but there's people staying there right now. Yeah, this is the room from Alpha Dog. You can take a little look inside there, but that's really invading someone's privacy. But people do it to me all the time. They film me in my hotel room, so why can't I? So here you go. So in the movie, they had a little thing on the stairs where they sat. And I think it would have been those stairs over there. I have to rewatch it. And I should have rewatched it before I came out here, but of course I didn't. But it would be these ones. Or those ones, but those ones make more sense because of the way, yeah, it was shot up. But this is the room from Alpha Dog. So here we go. I believe it's these stairs right here from Alpha Dog. How many times can I say Alpha Dog? Alpha Dog, Alpha Dog, Alpha Dog, Alpha Dog. Hey, I know you. I just saw you. You, you cut your fro. Well, times change. <sighs> Fashions change, style doesn't. Or styles change, style doesn't. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, buddy. I don't think so. I don't think so, sign. Not at this hotel. Not at Frank Sinatra State here. It's available in half gram bags or gram bags. What? One of these guys again, different one, but he doesn't have his tongue out. Uh, what else can I show you? There's a famous restaurant that's here on the premises. Let's go there. As you can hear, there's live music. I was gonna stay here and I decided to stay up the street. Why didn't I stay here? This is a cool place. I think the reason I didn't stay here is because there's only like three rooms left when I booked it. And I don't know. I just thought, well, another place that's up the street had a whole bunch of rooms available. I'd be able to park easier. Everything's about parking with me. But I could have stayed here, but I would dip, that room was booked three days in advance, I was told. So I called ahead. Yeah, I'm not weird. Anyways, look, here's the restaurant. Another restaurant on the premises that's really like, I think it's like fine dining. Let's see if I can find that. It's a pretty big place. Is this fun? Look at this architecture. So yeah, it's tiki themed. This was big in the 60s. And this apparently was a, around for a good 20 years, was really popular. And then it kind of just went downhill a little bit, fell into disrepair. And then the new owners bought it and fixed it up. And it looks amazing. And it's so funky and cool. And next time I come to Palm Springs, I am staying here. Here's the fine dining restaurant, I think. Let's see if I can take a look. Look at this place. See? It's very nice. I can see why Elvis and Frank and Nancy Sinatra like this place. I have their exact same taste. So yeah, Alpha Dog filmed here. Elvis stayed here. Frank stayed here. The Rat Pack partied here. Nancy Sinatra lived here. Oh, I didn't show you something really cool. 
Are you still with me? How's my retention level? I was told to check my retention levels on YouTube, see how long people watch my videos for. I don't ever, I just assume people watch them. I hope you watch it till the end. If not, you're gonna miss this. Let's go. And by the way, yes, I've been up for 21 hours now, <laughs> yet again. I keep doing this, but I'm waking up early and not getting a lot of sleep and driving, going place to place, but I love it. I'm fine. You know what Bon Jovi said? John Bon Jovi. I'll sleep when I'm dead. So, remember Anna Nicole Smith? She filmed part of her reality show here. And she left her hands in cement here. Her hand prints in cement here. That would be so weird. Yeah. <laughs> she left her hand prints. Uh, I never got to see, I don't remember ever watching her reality show, but Come on, Anna Nicole Smith. I think we all kind of like Anna Nicole Smith. She seemed sweet. She had a troubled life. Sad. Very, very sad ending to her life. And I think a lot of people saw it coming. <sighs> Let's not get this, bring this down with that. But it, it really, it was sad. A sad, tragic ending. But she filmed part of a reality show here and she Stayed in one of the rooms, I don't know which room, but now let's find those handprints because they're somewhere here. That's a rock, that's a smaller rock. Now there's something here. Sava Peta I don't know what that says. That's not Anna Nicole Smith. Okay. Here. Where are Anna Nicole's handprints and footprints? Well, I should have been filming here the whole time. It's nice light. I'm showing a little too much decolletage. What do you call it? Too much skin there. Sorry about that. I didn't realize my hoodie had fallen. My hoodie had fallen. I've fallen and I can't get up. Where is Anna Nicole's footprints? And handprints, or handprints, or footprints, or both. Come on. I don't have time for this. It's got to be here somewhere. And it just hit me, the word is de decolletage, which would be when a woman wears a low-cut shirt. That's what I was doing. How unladylike. Now, where are those handprints? Come on. What? Well, that is an abrupt little ending because you know what? Somebody bought her handprints and they're gone. That's why I couldn't find them. Those are just, re those are just regular people's handprints that they put over there. Who knows who they are? Not Anna Cole. But somebody bought Anna Nicole's handprints from this, in the cement that was right over there. Gone now. Well, that means I've done all I can here at Caliente Tropics. Resort. That's what it says. That's what it's called. Good lord. All right. Let me get, I show you a little few little shots from the outside, but then I'm going to wrap it up. Get some rest. Woo. Uh, somebody's, somebody's enjoying themselves with something. Yeah. That is pungent. Holy oh, jeez. Contact high. So this is the outside of it. Pretty cool, huh? Look at these palm trees. These aren't regular palm trees. These are palm trees on steroids. Those are regular ones. These ones, it's a jumbo. Not in, not in terms of height, but in terms of plumage. Hey, I just, I just got the word plumage in. Plumage? No, it's plumage. Ugh. Everybody's got to tag something. All right, this is it, Caliente. I'm out of here. Alpha Dog. Filmed here. Justin Timberlake's in the movie. Did I mention that? Dominique Swain. Emile Hirsch. My beloved Anton Yelchin. Uh, Sean Hatasi, I believe is how you pronounce the last name. Who I met at the Toronto Film Festival once. Nice guy. And, uh, oh, what was his name? Ben Foster. Sorry. Oh, 
the hell? Why am I saying sorry to a car driving by? What? What sorry? Who's my friend? Dominic Swain. Who else? Is? Oh, Amanda Seyfried is in it too. Yeah, she's in it, isn't she? Anyone you can think of is in it. Young Hollywood. They're all in it. So that's it. If you're wondering what the name of the restaurant is, is it's Evzin. I'm out of here. I got somewhere to be. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take a selfie by the by the sign. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. I might do, uh, I might add on to this video. I might do a separate Alpha Dog, or I might not even get to those locations. We'll see. This could be the end of the video. Peace. Out. Watch the movie. Just watch it. Thank you. You'll love it.